All right, let's write another program with our motors, but let's put a switch in on them. So let's get a new file. Um, let's save as um, motors with switch. We're going to have a switch turn something off. All right, let's put it somewhere we can get to it so we can then save it to you know, Google Drive kind of thing and bring it back. All right, so again, some comments. Is you paragraph, so we want to start run motors for two seconds each and stop on a switch. All right. So first we got to set some things up. Again, we got to tell, tell where we got stuff. Um, so motor setup, uh, right, is a 393 motor, center is on port 3, where I've got it, is a 3-wire motor, port 5 is the left motor, and that's a 3-wire motor, apply, all right, now again, I said switch, so we've got some switches there on the digital, um, on 1 and 3, um, I've got a switch. I'm going to call that a flip. That's the limit switch. And then the bump switch or the button. Let's just call it button. All right. And they are touch sensors. Apply. Okay. So here we go. Setup. So we got a flip. It's called flip. It's called button. It's called right, center, left. All right. Let's grab our motor code. Again, I have a turn off LED at the top of that code because there's an LED plugged in and it uh, wants to stay on. And now I want to get, again, we'll make sure you're in, go to the robot platform type, VEX2, natural language, PLTW. Good. Go to natural language. We want until. So until, and I'm not sure if it's until button, until bump, until touch, um, let's grab this. Let's put it in front. Let's try that. Um, and this is, I'm going to use the flip one. So until flip, do all this. Compile. Oops, I didn't, oh, my other code had center as a lowercase. This one has center as an uppercase. Alrighty. So I compiled it. Um, download to robot. And start. And nothing's happening. Which is always the fun part. So is it waiting for the, mm, I wonder if it's waiting for the button and then it's going to start, then it's going to go. Okay, we'll try that. So it's kind of waiting, I think, for the button. Yes, it was. All right. So until touch meant don't do anything until I touch it. But then run it once. That's boring. We want to run this forever and then turn it off. So we got to figure out how to do that. So here's what we accomplished. We accomplished, get that out of the way, we accomplished that when I touch a button, it's going to turn, the motors are going to turn on. But the program's only going to run once because it's not looping in here. So we got to figure out how to loop it. We got to figure out how to, you know, maybe get an off switch also. So those are in other programs, other videos.